thought I'd do a quick video of this, uh, which is a Hammond Model A B organ, uh, circa about 1937, possibly 1938. Uh, it's a UK one. It's uh, got a a Boosian Hawks plate in the back uh, instead of the usual Hound serial plate. Uh, in not bad condition overall for its age, uh, 72 years old or thereabouts, some more. A little bit of wear uh, on the top of the uh, surface there where some lady of the church has uh, placed bowls of flowers and things and uh, obviously spilt some water on it. Uh, it has had a little bit of worm in the end panels here, but uh, that's been uh, sorted out, so she's pretty good. In the back of the organ, we have the original cloth wiring on the preset rack there. A um, bit of the equivalent of Southwest Region baler twine on the, um, on the pedal uh, mechanism. Um, it was there originally when I got the organ so I left it in place. It seems to do the trick and hold the uh, hold the thing together. This is the Boosian Hawks um, serial number plate which uh, replaces the Hammond plate. You can see the, the rivet holes for the old Hammond plate behind so this was put on when the parts were imported into the country into the UK back in the 30s and uh, Boozy and Hawks who assemble them, put, them, put their own plate on it uh, which makes dating these things slightly differently, slightly difficult. This is the rebuilt preamp, rather gleaming in comparison to the rest of the or or organ. Uh, I left the original uh, can capacitors in place for the sake of looks and originality but the underneath they're uh, replaced with modern individual electrolytic capacitor, capacitors. Um, there's the connection. The mains wiring into the organ um, from the uh, connector box up to the uh, start run switches. These are modern replacement cloth covered wires. Um, to replace the originals because they're handling mains voltage and the old ones uh, were a little bit decayed and wasn't going to trust them but all the other signal wiring in this such as on the draw bars here is all the original clock contact stuff um, and it's all perfectly sound and intact so it's all good there's the generator there underneath as I said before, this is the model AB. Um, the A standing for the original model A innards of the organ, which is very much the same as it was uh, with the, the original Hammond. Um, but in a B cabinet, with the brought in when they brought in the model BC, uh, this extra space here to accommodate a second chorus generator. Um, in the Model ABs that was left out of course, uh, so it was then presented as the sort of cheaper model I suppose to have, not by a lot but a bit, um, and of course that then perpetuated on right the way through to the B3 when that extra space was then utilised for the AO29, uh, AO28 preamp, um, which could then take up that space. And uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to capture this a bit is uh, partly because there's very few of these, anything on these in, on YouTube, and um, partly uh, to get a, a sense of the sound of it because um, the preamplifier in it has been rebuilt, but uh, the tone generator is still operating on the old wax capacitors. And at some point I'm thinking of changing them, so I wanted to sort of capture the sound as it is now and then uh, do a comparison with later. So um, I'm just going to start it up. A little bit of noise in the starter motor, but it's not bad. Pretty 
quiet. That's the uh, Leslie spinning down. It's on uh, connected to a, a 122 Leslie at the moment. And uh, I'll play a little bit on it and uh, hear what it sounds like. sometimes say is that if you can hear um, the top drawbar being pulled out to about two if you can hear the difference um, then uh, it's not too bad as well and with this I think we can do that jumps up in volume when I do it. Thank <laughs> you. 